Subway 100, Subway 100 bonus 20. Heck yeah, look at them sandwiches flying. So first I'll say, Chef the Party, thank you for the follow and thank you for them bits. Um, this month, I guess that'll start me off. Um, also, uh, Jeff or Crow, if I could get a shout out for Chef the Party. He's also part of the uh, Bone In team. Uh, if you like cooking streams, check him out. Um, yes, thank you. All right, excellent. Bot's behaving itself. Um, yeah, so this month is September. <laughs> um, all bits that use the spinning sandwiches, I guess. The the Subway one gives bonuses. Uh, no cost to you, extra for the streamer. And also all subscriptions are half off for first timers. So support your favorite streamers and all that fun stuff. Um, Oh, I should do a bunch of sand. Okay, I'm gonna do a sandwich recipe next week then. It's a good idea, Jeff. Oh, so it's all over. Cause I saw people kind of saying weird things earlier today, so I wasn't sure. But okay, all cheers over ten. Give an extra ten percent. Yes, Subway's doing stuff. I can't recommend Subway, but you know. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm going to make this bigger so I could read this off my laptop. So today, a lot to do. Uh, the scary beast that I want to try today is the uh, quinamon, uh, which is a pastry, a French pastry. Jeff really loves it. And I was just like looking through all like the Great British Bake Off like recipes. And I was like, well, there's that. It's hard. It's sitting there. Oh, let's try it. So... I've never made it. I've never tried it. Uh, I've just looked at this recipe and I think, fingers crossed, it should work. Um, I've, I did prep a few things because if I didn't prep a few things, I would be on here for probably four hours <laughs> and it's a school night. So we don't want that. So in my oven actually, which today I found out has a, uh, a proof button like it's been there and i haven't clicked it i had dough proofing so i have that and that's been ready did it about an hour ago and it's doubled in size i've also prepared my block of butter that i need i'm gonna just jump right into it because this recipe does take a bit and i'm gonna have to like look at the recipe every <laughs> every so often I did the first step, which, if you want that recipe, uh, my menu. Um, the one I do have linked because the Alton Brown one is in a cookbook. In this one, um, the one I've cooked from a few times. It's a good book, um, but that is the recipe I'm going to be following. I haven't done it. It's nothing's changing. <laughs> Strong plain flour, bread flour switching it over to things that I can get. Bam. So I've done the first step. And I did all that. I put it in the bowl uh, and the bowl oiled and it was in there. So we're out of there at this point. Now my butter this morning before I started I made a block of butter. 
which hopefully it'll be easy to take out. Um, so my next goal, I guess I should put it back in the fridge because I don't need it. Because step three was sandwich the butter between two sheets of uh, greaseproof paper. Put it in plastic wrap so then I could just wrap it in there. And we want that cold because like puff pastry or any of that, we want flaky layers. We want lots of layers with this. That's the big goal of this uh, recipe. Alright, so now I'm going to take, I'm going to put flour down. I don't need your proofing anymore. Oven. Uh. So how was everybody's Labor Day weekend? It was a nice long weekend for most. Jeff and I worked yesterday just because we want to kind of store the holiday for later. Hopefully people had a good one. Plowed surface. Roll this to be eight inches. So I got some friends. My rolling pin and my ruler, so I make sure I get the size right of this. So we want an eight inch square because we're going to put the butter on top of it and then we're going to kind of fold that in. I'm going to go ahead and press that down some. I'm going to flour this flower both sides to make sure we don't want to add too much extra because we don't want to dry that out so it's feeling good i did notice in terms of like the amount of water that was needed in here i did have to add a little more compared to the recipe oh no are you feeling better now needs chun Is this already? It's close. I'm gonna roll this out a little bit more. Ah. That didn't take too much work. So I have my little rec rectangle. It's a square. Eight inches, eight inches. You're being a good boy today, Kanj. Yeah, sometimes when you're banking, you gotta you gotta get this ruler out. Elsa Stampy, how are you? It's been a while. <laughs> we keep both all being busy with life. Butter. More butter. Oh, how was that? I'm assuming for the holidays, right? Not for like work or anything. Butter. I actually realized as I was like pressing the butter this morning, I probably should have bought European butter. But. This is kind of the last minute thing, and I was like, eh, I don't feel like going to the grocery store today. So, okay. it says to place the butter in the center of the dough diagonally so that each side of the butter faces a corner. Which we got. And now we want to wrap it like an envelope. Oh, nice. I'm going to go ahead and we're, gonna, we're putting the butter to sleep. Just wrapping it up. And then we're going to ship it off. So I did that. Roll the dough into an 18 inch by 6 inch rectangle. I'm going to do that. So I've actually not done dough like this with the big old chunk. I've usually done it where I like have little pieces of uh, my 
feel the butter being very being very stubborn butter. Come on. Kanji, where are you going? I'm gonna just kinda pound it up a little bit. The big thing is we want we want buttered layers with this. I also want to make sure my butter is not sneaking away. I need to make this longer. Tempe, what was your favorite thing you ate while you were out there? Okay, and then I'm assuming to put it in the center, fold the corners, oh, no, we're in the next cut, fold the bottom third of the dough over the middle. This method I've done before. The top part over the dough. And then we're probably going to spin it this way. Oh, it's just wrap right away. Okay. Now here, here's why we're going to be doing this one. Why well, I started with this one right away. It's already having me... I'm surprised this quickly because I've done several turns before. <laughs> camera, camera shy kanji. So it wants me to wrap it. The most important step with this is we don't want our butter melting. We want it to be cold all the time. Are you behaving, kanji? Yeah. <laughs> He's back. Kanji, kanji gets like camera shy sometimes. Um, where do I want to put this? Boop. That's going. All right. So I'm going to put that on a timer for 30 minutes. And while that waits, I will start preparing the mushroom stroganoff. Now, this recipe is not hard at all. Um, and I think that's why I like it. It is, well, in the book, he uses a beef broth. I always substitute it for vegetable broth to keep it vegetarian. It seems silly to be making a mushroom stroganoff when, and then adding beef broth. That works for me. No, kanji's our doggo. He's a good boy. Right. <laughs> He's giving that look like, what do you all want? Right. And my mushrooms here. Now there is an interesting note in this book, which I like. Um, you can't, so it says to use five portobello mushrooms. They weren't too bad this week, so I, I bought some. Um, but there's a note here that portobello is nothing but an average cremini mushroom. The name was devised as a marketing ploy in the 1980s. Is that that's the little note? So if you can't find portobello, just use cremini and just increase the amount. Um, that's the important part. Quinamon is essentially a it's kind of like a croissant but with like a caramelized part of it so we have the the layered dough and we're eventually if you want to see the end result which we're hoping for um 
that link there will show you the recipe that I'm that I'm following. Um, since I've never made it, I wanted to see how it's the most basic is done. Casey, thank you so so much for the sub. So you know what that gets. Um, anytime we get a sub, Kanji gets a treat. <laughs> so Kanji, you get the little treat. You stay right there. Let me think. Let's give you. Let's get. We'll start with a power bite. Okay, Kanji, can you behave and leave it? Leave it. Leave it. Ah! Drop it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Kanji's gonna be like misbehaving on this on the stream. Okay, now you can go get it. Go get it. Are you too lazy to go get it? Go get it. Oh, Kanji. But I'm proud of him for behaving and doing his leave it command, or drop it command. Thank you, good boy. You tell Casey, thank you. <laughs> All according to Kikaku. That's just why you got it. <laughs> He's got such long arms now. Not really. Those are very short arms. Um, what am I looking for? A knife. So the first thing I'm going to do, today's like stream is me, me following other people's recipes. Very relaxing. Very different from what I usually do. Which I'm not sure. But, actually, I do like Jeff's idea of uh, doing sandwiches throughout the month. Just to to go with September. Um, so if you guys know of any sandwiches that are in video games that you would like to see, uh, I've done a few on my site. I'll probably pull from those and do a few of them. But if there's one that's not on my site that you would like to see, let me know. I'm currently, I think, any of the recipes I'm working on for the upcoming weeks? No. None of them right now are sandwiches. But I could switch that. Kanji wants to show how long his arms are. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna get something. It's the face he's giving. Thinly sliced. So I'm gonna cut these into sections. Why'd I cut it that way? Cut, 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 cut. Nice simple cut. See, wasted, wasted opportunity. I did the one from Final Fantasy XV like a month ago on stream. So I can't do that again. Hmm. One I've been meaning to redo is I have a, a steak sandwich I did for The Sims, but it's a really old recipe and I don't make it that way anymore. It's just cheesesteak. She said, yeah. I feel like I want to redo that recipe completely on the side. Because I, I cook it completely differently. Now. Ganji, don't you dare be camera shy. The people need you. He stands right off. I think he's still in there. <laughs> These mushrooms feel like a little dry. Which I don't know why. So I got five of them. Think. Think. Yeah, this should be enough mushrooms. Yeah, I counted right. I'm sure with this recipe, you could honestly add any m of your favorite mushroom to it. 
do a mixture of them if you would like. I would do. I would add king oyster mushroom, but I'd need it this weekend. <laughs> and to get that, I have to go across town. So that's why I'm like, no, nope, I can't use the one I have there. Simple cuts. This, uh, on Friday I was thinking, last Friday, I was thinking of originally streaming, doing a cooking stream. Maybe I didn't because I ended up having to do way too much in the kitchen. But like I said in the kitchen, I was I was making gyoza. And I was like, oh, I forgot how long it takes to make these. Well, good thing it makes like 60 of them. <laughs> so now I don't have to worry for a bit. Chop it. Whoop. It's like slip and slide. Gyoza is um, Japanese dumplings. Uh, they're usually pan fried uh, and they're filled typically with pork, uh, ground pork, cabbage, and all that wonderfulness. <laughs> I mean, this recipe is mushroom stroganoff, so it's just, I hope you like mushrooms. So yeah. Which is why I'm like, you could have probably add any mushroom that you like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's one of those after like a weekend of like for me eating more than I wanted to and being like, okay, you know what, I I just want veggies. <laughs> I just need something that's not heavy in meat. Oh, I do. I'm thinking too, because I wasn't sure this month how many like recooks of the rest, like recipes on my site I was going to do. It's going to be, I think, maybe every, every other week. Um, but maybe that in between week. I keep eyeing the the beyond uh, meat stuff, so I might I might do a stream testing that. Well, that is that yeah, that's basically his butt. Ow. Kanji butt. Kanji, why aren't you? Why are you sitting all the way over there? Why are you so far? Oh, there you are. Hi, Kanji figure out where I want to put this. Hey, Opie. What happens if you put applesauce in it? Mm, it'd probably be soggy. And I wouldn't be sure. <laughs> or maybe you'll just have like a, a nice apple um, turnover. Probably be the closest thing. How are you today, Opie? What else do I need to prep? Let me see what this recipe is. Dee, 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 dee. Melt some butter. And the mushrooms. Okay. I guess I'm watching the timer there because I know I'm going to have to pull the. Pull our dough out to work on it again. I think I'm going to have to do that two more times. I 
actually, Jim, it's funny because I, I today was like, the sun was a mistake. <laughs> and we're down here in, in Texas and it is hot. Let's see the reward Jeff gets is a bunch of quinamon after after mowing the lawn. <laughs> Actually, so we could put on, uh, boop. No, let's switch to the, this. <sighs> we're going to go ahead and start heating this up. Because we're going to start letting our mushrooms cook over here. Oh, Jeff, Opai brings a good point. We work at NASA, so we should, uh, convince them to delete the sun. It's a flawless plan. <laughs> Honestly, if we, if, if we were able to, like, what's it called? Zero scape? Is that the right word? The lawn, I would. Like, I'd be like, no more grass. Just a little spot for Kanji in the back. So if, when he has to go do his things. <laughs> just walk into the, the head's office and be like, I got an idea. This is a profit idea. Like, we're going to make millions. Let's get rid of the sun. <laughs> we don't need it. It's useless. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> oh, yeah, how could I forget about the, the easy button that's just in mission co control? Delete sun. Done. Easy peasy. <laughs> Onis Chen going with the... The probably truer result of a lack of a sun. But in the end, everyone would be happy. <laughs> butter, 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 butter. Sorry, that was very loud. Let me see. So I need a lot of scallions. Ten of them. Turn scallions this recipe. Mushrooms and scallions. <laughs> that is true. There'd probably be something different. Has anyone uh, picked up Final Fantasy VIII, the, the remake? I've never played it, so... <laughs> I don't have time right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. That came out yesterday? Today? Yesterday? Oh. Uh, Opai, Jeff wanted to show you... I guess remaster. Remaster. I shouldn't say remake, because seven's getting a re seven's getting an official remake. Which that one? Haven't played seven. I'm a a different kind of JRPG fan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten exactly on this board. Opai says hi. <laughs> Jeff's gone. Huh? Just hi. Hi, Jeff. Did you see his Frankie shirt? That's what he was, was hoping that you would see. I think... I do remember young Vicky. Uh, so the only Final Fantasy besides 15 uh, that I finished all the way through was 10. And I played 10... Like, I played 10 a decent amount of times because... Well, young Vicky, you can't have a lot of video games, so you play that a lot. I think I picked up eight afterwards. <laughs> it was like, oh no. <laughs> I, have a, I have a harder time going back to older games. <sighs> it takes a lot of work. <laughs> oh, because sometimes the yellow does look funny. <laughs> 
But I, I do know there are a lot of people who are excited about eight. I'm actually. Oh, that's why it was in the little, in the little screen. No canola oil in there too. Battle Frankie. It says add half, but whatever. It'll fit in here. Let that do its thing. Jeff, you gotta do a super pose. What happened? What are you looking for? I didn't know what you're looking for. Oh, it. I don't see it. Melt the butter, increase the heat, add the mushrooms, sprinkle with salt. That's sugar that I'm going to need later. And let that do its thing. Super. Please, scallion. Actually, I feel like there were a lot of games, right? A lot of games that came out this weekend. Astral Chain was last week. Jeff was at first excited for that game, but then I think a few people's like opinions that he trusts for games, he decided against it. <laughs> Mushroom, please, you gotta stay in the pan. I'm like, should have I had the pot instead? Actually. Uh, remove to a bowl. Repeat. We'll let that go for a bit, and then we'll add the scallions in. The top part of the scallions in. Chippy chop. Ooh, I was excited because on Friday, that's what I was doing while I was while I was wrapping dumplings. Oh no, Kanji, why? Why? Kanji, why are you? Come here. Go get back over here. Come on. Come here. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. Mm. So, anyway, on Friday, uh, Arianette had like an announcement thing for. They're essentially what's their next living world story, which they're calling a saga now. But I'm excited for that. I mean, I mostly play Guild Wars 2, just go in, play the story. The nice thing is, one, you could buy the base game for free, but now they've added if you buy one expansion, you get every, the, the two expansions together, which is nice. I'm surprised it took them that long to do that, but. They finally did. Maybe I should have done half of them. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Just took them a bit. I mean, that's one of the nice things with uh, Final Fantasy 15. Let me, let me remove like half of these. If you, with Final Fantasy 14, if I said 15, my bad. Um, with 14, you could, if you buy the expansion, you get all the previous expansions. Um, it, it just makes sense. With Guild Wars 2, they got away with it because you didn't need anything that was, well, besides missing, like, a good chunk of story, uh, you didn't need any of the mechanics that were there because your character doesn't level up or any of that, so... Yeah, 
the awful news that was all of last week. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> my news feed was that my my Twitter feed was that and uh <laughs> Hurricane Dorian. <laughs> so tells you the things I, I look at most of the time. So I do back here here. Here? Here? <laughs> that pot has water in it. Just heating up. Oh, uh, I need to grab everything else that I need for this recipe. I need... Sour cream, goat cheese. Now, the sour cream and the goat cheese are what gives this recipe its nice tang. Very good. Uh... Those combinations of flavors. Wherever my sour cream is. <laughs> I look in this fridge and I'm like, what the heck is... <laughs> this fridge is not big enough. Oh, okay, Kanji. <laughs> it's okay, pooch. Now I know I bought sour cream, right? Past self, did you buy sour cream? You did. Look at that. <laughs> what? These things try to fall out. No. Um, I see you asking your question. No, there are currently no hurricanes that Houston needs to worry about. I am... That's my other weird, like, nerd, nerdy part. I really like looking at weather stuff. <laughs> um, I have an entire, like, Twitter feed that's just a bunch of meteorologists that I follow. Um, so, I... Dorian is definitely an, a very unfortunate event for, like, the Bahamas right now, so... If you have any ability to please donate to those people, because... The Grand Bahama, yeah, Grand Bahama Island had Dorian as a Cat 5, like, stuck on it for at least 20, 20 hours at least. And then it downgraded and then it, as a 4, and then it continued to stay on there. <laughs> and it's like, oh, uh, no. That's why. It's Vicky, please. Please, Vicky. Keep the heat at the right temperature. But yeah, there was something in the Gulf this weekend, and it's not upgrading to anything and not going in our direction, which is nice for us. The Great British Cook-Off is a TV show that I think everybody should watch. <laughs> it is just happiness. No, it's, it's super good. Like... All the co uh, competitors are real nice to each other. Uh, everyone's very, very friendly. I, I love it. And I do think I'm going to try a few. Because I think in Jan, no, a year ago uh, with some friends, I was like, let's try the technical challenges. Because in the middle, they, all of the, the first one is a here, bake something that you've done at home. This is the, this is the theme, do it. And the middle one is, it's based off this theme, but you don't know the ingredients. Here's like a, a skeleton of a recipe. Do it. And then the last uh, one is, here's this grand thing that you need to do that you've been practicing, but go ahead and do it. The technical challenges are, there's actual full-on recipes written up on there. And there are some for the other ones that like any contestants, they're like, oh, this is very good. We'll add this. But I like the technical challenges because they kind of have things that are difficult to do so like quinamon is very difficult <laughs> um mostly getting those layers i have no idea how it's going to turn out this is the first time i'm doing it and we'll see <laughs> i need to grab more butter i put it away and then i have a stick of butter in here <laughs> Yeah, 
even I'd say out of all like the competition shows, it is a nice one that I think everyone can enjoy. I, I like a lot of them, but it's definitely one. It's just because of how positive it is. It's so nice. So, <laughs> I don't know about that part, oh boy. And I think most of it is on Netflix for people to enjoy. Add that, and then we'll add this top part, the top part. So I have just the white and the light green part of the scallions here. The darker green part, actually there's a little more here. The darker green part will be just like topped on there. And I could use it for other recipes too, because that usually is, oh no. Should be fine. Read my recipe here. Oops, salt. Um, return the first batch of mushrooms to the pan, sprinkle with the flour, and com and stir to combine. Cook for a minute. A dark pond to glaze the pan with the broth. It says beef broth. We are using vegetable, a vegetable broth. I'd like this dish to eat vegetarian. Oh, I'm not going to go through all of this. So. Vegetables. Here. What, what are people's uh, favorite desserts? Like if you go to a place and you're like, okay, I'm going to have dessert. What is your go-to dessert? I have a lot. <laughs> but most of the time, my eye gets attracted to anything that is chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, so. Ah! And now our dough is gonna be like, yo, I'm ready. Let me get this to a in-between state. That's good. I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to add the... Th yeah, I should do this first. I think they announced that they were going to do that for a while. Um, I think it makes sense. I'm so out of Overwatch that I'm like... I haven't been paying attention too much. Like, I feel like the role queuing came a year and a half too late. Because <laughs> uh, at first I was just, I, uh, yeah, but I'd say September. Maybe right after BlizzCon. I was like, you know what, I'm kind of not having as much fun with the game, so I kind of stopped playing it. And then I was like, I'll just watch the Overwatch League. And then this season, there were a lot of times that I was like, why am I watching this? <laughs> so, that's the roller coaster I've been with with Overwatch. How much flour do I need? One tablespoon. One tablespoon, please. It's about, it's about a tablespoon. Mm. 
But I do know that with them adding that, they are also adding like a an arcade mode that is the classic Overwatch. Um, I know Jeff is excited for it to be in quick play because he doesn't like the pressure of competitive, but he also wants to play roll queue. Shit, yeah, shakes do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Mm, yeah, no, I, I love good shakes. Ugh, good ice cream. I've had some good. What would be your favorite shake then? I've become partial to a s'mores shake. Which is very good. <gasps> durian shake. No, it's durian. <laughs> durian kills me. Taro, on the other hand, I could do all day. <laughs> oh, my friends like to refer to Taro, like shakes in general, as uh, Captain Crunch flavored. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Man, Taro makes me so happy. So I have time when I go like to a bakery. I'm like, give me this with Taro in it. Give me this with <laughs> Taro. Yes, yes, yes. I should. I've never actually cooked Taro. I probably should figure out a recipe and do that at some point. That's not the recipe I want to look at. I want to look at this recipe. <laughs> Two recipes. Dark fond. Okay, I'm letting that do it. And then... Alright. That's when we'll be able to. Once I add the... I don't need this for a bit. Fourteen ounces. Fourteen ounces, eight ounces is a cup, so a little less than two cups. I feel like something I need is like just a thing that's like, here's all the conversions of things so you don't have to like <laughs> keep memorizing everything. Okay, so that's in a good spot. I'm gonna add this is one cup. Gotta add basically a second ish cup. It's probably like three fourths of a cup. And now we reduce the heat. We're going to let that do its thing. How long did it say? 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. 10 minutes. So I have a, a thing of water over here. And the biggest thing to remember is you don't add salt for making it heat up quicker. You do it to season. So that is still an important step to do. Do not skip it. But it is not to bring up the temperature. <laughs> That's that. I'm going to move this book here. Now let's read. Place the butter in the center. We did that. Roll it out. Fold the bottom thirds. You will now have a sandwich of three layers of butter. And three layers of dough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, ha I have a, a friend at work that loves durian. And I'm like, no, please. <laughs> I've given durian so many chances. But every time... <laughs> I'm like, why? Actually, another another friend at work was like, oh, we got this durian candy. Let's try it. They opened it, and they tried it, and right away it was like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> they put it in the trash. But quickly after, like, the smell of the durian starting to fill, like, the workroom, like, kitchen area. And it was like, oh, no, we have to go throw this outside. <laughs> Like, mm, this is bad. <laughs> I 
I guess the biggest thing with durian is obviously it gets better the riper it is, but the issue is it's the riper it is, the more trashy it smells. <laughs> Which I forget what airport it is. Cause worker who likes it says that like there's a few airports where you, you just cannot have durian. It is not allowed. Not allowed because of the smell. Oh, let me swoop, dry this. We're going to bring back our dough. Roll it out again. Repeat this twice more. So you have it completed of three turns. See, the way it... The, all right. So me having at least some knowledge, I feel like there's some wording missing here because something you want to do look at that recipe again like I don't this is the the way I've uh, we'll get to switch cameras real quick main leave that there it's doing its it's doing its thing <laughs> um you can see how there's the, the layerings here, and this is like the flat side. So it's important now that when I roll it, that I'm rolling it this way. So these layers are flattening. But I feel like it doesn't mention. Put the door, door. There's three layers. I, fe I feel like there's. Crow, I'm sure you know that. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, we had a friend in town, and I was driving around, and I just put this playlist on. This is just a, uh, like my Final Fantasy streaming playlist. And I was, it was like when this so that song came out, I was like, Jeff, it's your favorite time of year. You love jumping puzzles. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Okay, so we're going to take this. I'm going to kind of lightly flower both sides because I don't want... So we're making it the same length. I'm kinda, I feel like these, the way it's doing the turns a lot. See, now at this point, if I'm reading the recipe right, I just put it into the thing. I'm going to give it an extra press here. So I could see my butter, which is good. And I could see it doing its layering stuff. I just worry that that's not enough layering okay gotta wrap this up And into there again for another 30 minutes. And then the next time around, it'll be ready to go into the go into the oven stage. Now, I'm going to read ahead on this to make sure I don't miss any. Yeah. Repeat the process twice more. 
So you have a complete of three turns. Chill in the dough for 30 minutes between turns. Okay. Now we're going to roll it up to a rectangle like before. Sprinkle the dough with the caster sugar. So caster sugar is, um, I believe... Caster sugar, let me just make sure. So caster sugar is super fine sugar, which if you go to a grocery store and you go buy that, it's more expensive. <laughs> but it's very easy to just do it at home. If you have a food processor, and probably you could do it with the blender. Um, all you have to do is take regular sugar and let it run for a bit so it becomes super fine. Uh, I'm going to pull out my little babby one. I don't feel like taking the, the big food processor out. I have 100 grams of sugar. Again, this is a recipe of Great British... Uh, baking recipe, so everything's going to be weight-wise, which is the appropriate way to do things. If you want to make sure that every time you make it, it is exactly the same. Keep reading. Sprinkle the dough and cut the dough into 12 squares. Get the dough squares by their four corners and put them in the muffin. Okay. <laughs> like, like, in theory, this doesn't sound terrible. But we'll see. There's another 30 minute resting period during that, but that's not in the fridge, because I guess we wanted to puff up some. Because there is yeast in the do dough, so it is. It rose earlier. Just gonna. I'll let that go. Smoke of sugar. Could probably switch back to the stove scene. That's where action's happening. Do this a little longer. up a little bit. Uh, I put that in Let's do 28 minutes for that. So that's good. So my sugar is now ground, <laughs> ground up. So it's super fine. <laughs> Where's the bowl? Hello, bowl. Where did you go, bowl? I'm gonna move this into the bowl so I make sure that I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Put that back on and a bunch of sugar like sneaked out. Cool. Let me think. So the Quinamon at least has another hour? Hour and a half at least? So the there's something else I could prep while that's doing its thing. Yeah. Hmm. I'll think about something. Something that's not needed in the oven. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a second dinner. <laughs> so then I don't have to cook for the rest of the week. <laughs> and just have that sit there. I know I was planning on making... Uh, chicken lemongrass soup. Which that warms up real well. So I might just, depending on what the quinoa is doing. 
Hello, Chef Babylon. That is another one of my fellow stream team members. Yeah, so if you like cooking streams, give them a follow. Good people. Good positive people. Um, I'm trying to think. I am going to have to. What do I have to do this? 200 with the fan. 200 C. 200 C to Fahrenheit, please. 392. Without the fan, it's that much. Bop, 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 bop. 220. Okay, so 400. Which, I think once we finish those, the turns is when we'll, we'll do that. And we have it sitting in the muffin tins. Um, that's not my, where my muffin tins are. Look at you crazy. I feel like these muffin tins. Mm, same size. Muffin tins. Oh no, I closed the other recipe. Vicky, you still need it. <laughs> I haven't done this one enough that it's like in my memory. Add the sour cream and goat cheese and pepper and stir. Bring to a bear simmer and cook covered. I don't think I've ever covered it. So. <laughs> We're good without that. It is smelling really mushroomy over here, so that's exciting. I can't make... I think. Maybe I'll cut. I'm like, I'm trying to think... What else I have in the kitchen. I'm like... Because it takes um, 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I think the most, like, terrifying thing of those, like, competitions is, like, the time that they give everyone. Like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I could totally do some of these things, but it's all that real tight timing where it's like, oh, you need to finish this in an hour. And it's like, uh, how? That's the part I'm always impressed about. How casually people were like, yep, it's done. <laughs> now, I do know there is a bit of that TV magic with a lot of these TV shows. Because I watch that. I watch, like, Masters of Chef and all that. Where it's just like, oh, my God, nobody's going to finish. And then everyone has these beautiful plates. But. And I'm, I'm thinking with, like, this one. Like, we're exactly with the timer at this point. I do like the note in this recipe when cooking it. Be careful not to burn yourself on the caramelized sugar. That is important. Uh, it's, it's that's true too because it is it is real hot sugar at that point. I am gonna need this. Stop trying to move it. up that temperature a little bit, I think. I'm gonna cook my egg noodles and just set those on this off on the side after they're done cooking. Boop. Let them do their thing. Yeah. 
So yeah, is anyone anyone having interesting dinners this evening? I mean, you can tell what I'm having. <laughs> Mushroom stroganoff. One cup. One cup sour cream. Let me grab my... Strainer. I'm gonna need this in a moment for the... Egg noodles once those are done cooking. Egg noodles do cook relatively quickly so we don't need the you don't want to like kind of leave them back there doing its thing follow the instructions on the package Oh good, Kanji behaved himself and, and fell asleep. He had a big day, because he hadn't been to work for a bit. Kanji, lucky enough that he gets to go to work. I'm going to go ahead and add... So I have, this is four ounces of goat cheese. And then one cup, eight ounces of sour cream. And a bunch of pepper. Since this goat cheese is in log form, it is a little clumpier at first, but as that heats up, it'll blend in well. A little pepper? <laughs> no pepper in there. <laughs> Grinding nothing. Something I forgot to check before the stream started. No time to replace. So I also want to make sure that I don't overdo the egg noodles. If anything, the good news for Jeff is it looks like the sun is like mostly down, but I'm sure it's still real hot outside. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sneaks in. Let that sit. That is, the noodles are probably done at this point, so I'm gonna turn off that water and get rid of those. Just throw them in the trash. No. Not gonna throw them in the trash. Ooh, the sink made a spooky sound. <laughs> it almost sounded like it burped. 
Hello, Lemon Drop. How are you? Uh oh, what? I saw you put a recipe up, and I saw in your video right away you were like, if you've not played uh, this far into Shadowbringers, I was like, I'm just going to close this one for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put that away. <laughs> Let that sit there for a moment. <laughs> I'll come back to that one. Which I'm excited because um, this weekend Jeff and I finished Stormblood. Like, the main story of Stormblood. Now we're in the bridge section. But I'm so ready to be done with Stormblood. Yeah, I assume the recipe itself wasn't... wasn't spoilery. It's definitely one of those moments of like, oh, okay. Okay, Vicky, just like, make a mess everywhere, why don't you? I'm noticing the mushrooms that I used are a lot uh, messier today. So it's like sitting there. What's the timer? 14 minutes before we gotta do our next thing with the Quinamon. Mm. Train the noodles and stir gently into the mushroom mixture. Turn onto a platter and garnish with scallions on top. All right. At this point, at this point, I'm good with that one. Keep this just like I'm gonna leave this kind of like sitting there warming, just because Jeff is still outside and I don't want to have that be done before he finishes. And if I I don't want to add the noodles because those will go mushy if I leave them cooking there. Oof. Yeah, I have a, a friend who's went to France for work for a bit, and they said they're just, they just have bakeries forever. And the first thing they w they did when they came back was try making quinamon, and it was like, uh, oh, it's a lot of work. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> I I am expecting this to be okay. <laughs> like that's the result I'm expecting out of this recipe. Um. Probably won't be as pretty as it should be, but it'll get the point across, I think. First time. Gotta learn somewhere, right? You gotta start with with a something. I do think a mistake I made was using American butter and not European butter. One probably one of that higher fat count. I guess this would be a good way to slowly make that step towards doing uh, homemade croissants, which I know everyone says not, it takes a lot of time, not worth it, but I want to try it once at least. That one I know is more, more sitting, more time. <laughs> There's, I've had requests for my site where it's always like, uh-huh. That's cute. Exactly. Please look forward to it. <laughs> Never. Yeah, no. I have those moments where I'm like, no. I'm just like, because I've been, I've been working, I did a lot of desserts recently, and I'm like, you know what? For the rest of these recipes, no desserts. I'm done with desserts for a bit. Don't want to think about it. And that's, it's thick and all nice. Let me make sure it's spiced, seasoned, spiced, seasoned correctly. I actually started looking at like a 
or is it Final Fantasy 15 recipes? Because it's like, it's been a very long time since I've done one. I think I'm going to work. I'm trying to decide if I want to do, they have a crab bisque. And they also have a, a the garden curry. Those are the two that I was like, okay, I could probably think of these real quick. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to do. Also, hello, Renee. How are you? Yeah, like desserts always will get the eye of like most people. Like, oh, that's really cool. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't need all these desserts, and they're so much harder. People, you need you need not desserts. But I do find that people most like are more likely to cook the regular recipes, not the dessert recipes. Um, I'm waiting to have a a, a recipe that trumps my the persona 5 curry that i have that is probably the one i see the most done um which is always nice i mean i see a lot from the follow cookbook but i that's its own separate entity <laughs> that exists over there <laughs> yeah you'll you'll find that there's like some things that people will do I was I was surprised because actually this weekend I got a message from someone. They were like, oh, I made your Persona 5 curry, and it was really good. Also, this was my first time ever cooking. And I'm like, you pick that recipe to be your first ever recipe that you're going to cook in the kitchen? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you were brave. Brave and patient. I think one of the big benefits of that recipe is you make a batch and you have, like, food for the rest of your life, <laughs> it feels like. I'm trying to think with, like, the follow book. Oh, Jeff walked in. That's why Kanji moved. That's why we only get the little butt. Oh my god, oof, oof. My Fantasy 15 food is so good. This is why I'm like, I don't know. Going good. Uh oh, what happened? Uh huh. Well, Jeff has updated me that something like bonked him on the head and he thought it was a tree or a leaf or something and realized it was a wasp. Did you figure? Sorry, excuse me. Six to eight wasps. I somehow didn't get stung, but didn't get stung. Oh, you didn't get stung? Okay, he did not get stung, luckily. Do you know where they're at? Is it huge? I hate wasp. And that's how I would feel. Like, no. So we walk Kanji down the street, and there's currently... Um, Kanji, like the direction we go, there's a tree in front of someone's house that now is starting to have like this big old wasp nest. Like, if it was me, I'd be like, spray them down, be done. Uh, but it's not my property. <laughs> so it's like, okay, that's that. Uh, so we walk around it now. Uh, but yeah, the moment a bug touches me, I'm like, nope, I'm done. That's it. The world's over. <laughs> bug comes in. Half the time I'm like, Jeff, help, help. I can't do anything. I hate him. Uh oh, Vexen's here's bug talk. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Jeff's told me this. Vexen's is a mosquito, right? Yeah. There we go. Species of a mosquito. Your favorite. I don't like mosquitoes either. You know what my favorite kind of mosquito is? The dead one? Yeah. Jeff said, what's his favorite kind? <laughs> and he said, it's a dead one. I hate him. Well, it's actually, uh, knock on wood, several times. Uh, there's not been a lot of mosquitoes this year. I feel like Harvey from two years ago, like, disrupt a bunch of the nests. And now they just don't bother. No, oh, it's easy to ID. <laughs> yeah, give us some wasp tips. Also, 
Would there be an environmental disaster if Wasp were extinguished from the world? These are these are the hard hitting questions. <laughs> Bug facts. Um, what are we at? Five minutes. I didn't start the timer at the right time, so I'm gonna bring my dough back out. Actually, for the last five minutes, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. <laughs> Cause it's feeling a little, it's still a little weak, so I don't want it to be too weak. No figs without them. Intr really? Hmm. <laughs> oh, pie. <laughs> Okay, so this is my lack of knowledge. What do wasps do with figs that that keep them that keep them going? <laughs> Not the mom. <laughs> oh no, <gasps> Lullaboo! Thank you so much for that host. You were streaming World of Warcraft earlier, right? I think I saw you streaming that. Thank you so much for that that host. Uh, Lulaboo is also part of the Bonin team. Um, uh, heck yeah. She's amazing. She does a lot. She's like one of the original big... Oh no! Jeff! The bot got angry! Save Vexens! Help him! Jeff's Jeff's gonna save you. Bach gets angry. Oh no, Chrono got it. Chrono got it, Jeff. <laughs> the cops. Always with the cops. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, he got he gave us a wasp blank. Okay, let's see what this wasp blank is. Oh, okay, this is about figs. I'm gonna look at this real quick. Okay. A pollen laden female wasp enters. Now, is it specific? Is it any kind of wasp? Because, like, the mud dabbers, I don't mind. All wasps are bad. Can we also include fire ants in that? Okay, so there's. Okay, so we can leave the fake wasp alone then, right? Let's just, uh. <laughs> Wasp hornets. Let's get rid of those uh, jerk bugs. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yes, this evening uh, we have bug talk and we're currently waiting for, well, we have this wonderful uh, mushroom stroganoff basically there. I'm waiting for Jeff to, he just finished mowing the lawn, so we're going to let him relax for a moment uh, and then we'll finish that recipe up. And soon we'll be doing another turn of our Quinamon, which is <laughs> jerk, jerk bugs. Quinamon, which is a, a French pastry. Um, it is a layered pastry that is uh, so sorry, caramelized at the end with a, a bunch of sugar. So kind of think a croissant, but with a, a little bit of crisp to it. So we're hoping those layers will stay nice and delicious and, and be working. I don't know. This recipe's been interesting so far. So we're following the Great British Cook-Off recipe. Um, I gotta go back and look at the... the I think one of the most interesting thing about... Oh man, Kanji, it's that time again. Renee, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. And so does Kanji. Look at him. See, oh. The camera's like not on you. I should have realized that. There he is. Mm, 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 mm. Ready? 
You ready for that minnow? Hell yeah. So he's getting a little minnow. A little freeze dried minnow. There you go, Kanji. Hell yeah. Thank you, Renee. And for everyone, remember, it is September. I think maybe if I hit my, my goal of 10 subs in total this month, Kanji will get a big treat at the end of the month. Big treat, Kanji? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to switch camera focuses real quick. <laughs> just make recipes just for kanji, nothing else. A life in the underworld. Oh my gosh. Wasp, I hate him, I hate him. Oh my gosh, oh, I have a wasp story. Um, I think this happened a month ago now. Uh, we were getting ready for work, and I'm like, cool, it's cool, it's a new day, everything's gonna be great, and it's gonna be wonderful. Go into the bathroom, brushing our teeth, getting ready, and I finish, and I turn. And I'm like, oh my god. Against the wall, there was a wasp in that, like, just crawling up, and I was like, Nope, nope, that's it. I, it's Jeff and I were there. I walked out of like, Jeff, burn it down. We're done. This house is over. We're, we got to move. We're done. No more. Luckily, there's been no more since that one. Luckily, no other wasp have returned. So, this is our third and final turn. Ooh, that is a good question. I would imagine many different species are everywhere. <laughs> so what you're saying is we got to, well, the coldest areas for now. I think I noticed my butter is kind of trying to peek out here. I'm like, please don't. Please don't. Now, to look at the recipe again. Working quickly, roll the dough into a large. Hold on. All right, same rectangle as before. is the part where it requires like quick action. Oh my god. The butter. The butter like seeps through. I'm trying to put flour there so it kind of behaves itself. I want to fold this section so bad. Let's put this in the inside actually. Whoop. Hello, dough. Okay. So it's a similar sized rectangle. I need to make it a little longer. I'm going to put an extra flour. Hopefully, it's not too much that it dries out the pastry. Heck, yeah, yeah. A little wider. You want to be working quicker. Please don't, don't melt. Rolling, rolling. Uh, roll the dough into the rectangle, sprinkle the dough with the caster sugar, and fold into thirds again. So we're just going to kind of put it all around, press it in. Boop. 
Oh no. All right, vaccine. Kanji will get his treat as soon as I finish these these steps. Kanji, but thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime sub here. Oh my gosh, please. All the sugar's coming out. Sugar, I need you to be in the center. Maybe I should have started rolling. <laughs> Thank you so much! Doing the big rolling. Mm -mm. You don't like. Oh my god, my butter. <laughs> oh no! I feel like it's a big mess. What? Why does it want me to go? 16 by 12. We got a ways to go. Let's see the butter. Please, butter! There's sugar everywhere. This this dessert already has me like, what the hell? Oh, fish life. That's interesting. Calm down. Zen, zen, right? Like, this was all fine until the sugar got introduced. <laughs> then it became a nightmare. <laughs> Gonna knock that plate down, and it'll be sad. Butter, stop being. I feel like with this recipe, it should be 12. Sure, close enough. I can't roll it out anymore because it's like slipping and sliding here. It's like moving everywhere but where it should be. Sorry, chat, that I'm, like, mostly ignoring you right now. I know this is a... There we go. That's a little nicer. We'll go with this. Um, I need to spray this. Woo! Woo! Spray the muffin tin. Muffin tin. And now I need to cut this into 12 squares ish. What does it say? Thank you. Just read the rules. 16 by 12. It's 8 by 12 right now. I gotta make this thinner. It's gonna cause an issue if I don't. I feel like the butter's just melting away. I'm gonna 
here, and all these are laminations. I'm gonna for Jeff to walk in and be like, so how's it going? Terrible! Okay, wait, actually, I think. Ah, close enough. Now nah, we're, we're a lot closer. I think that's like 12 by 14. Um, it's probably three. I still see the layers, so that's what matters. So in half. In half. In half. So then the next step is it wants me to pinch all the corners together and then kind of plop it in there. Oop. Okay. Whew. Then the next step is going to be letting this sit for another 30 minutes. Kind of looks like it should. Once I uh, put them all in, and I'm not goofing with the layers, I could kind of show you in that other camera. So it does a better job of uh, being zoomed in. Whoop. Okay, still Okanji a treat. Don't let me forget. I'm pretty close. Okay. I could kind of like briefly look. Oh, I do like how you say that the fish are going through enough right now. They really are with like increasing temperatures and and all that nightmare. So doing this, I feel like these center pieces are the ones that are going to be the best because both all the ends are kind of exposed. Well, with this one, some of the ends are not as exposed out. I'm happy that I see layers. Layers of flour and butter. Because I was very worried that things were going to go bad. <laughs> Hands. Gathered those square but the four corners and placing the muffin tin. Place the four corners towards the center of the muffin tin, which they are. Gather up like four leaf clover, sprinkle. More salt, more sugar. How much was I supposed to put in there? Why didn't you tell me? This recipe, not telling like certain elements is like, please? I guess I sprinkle with additional sugar. Hate when recipes do that. <sighs> also butter. Yes, this th th this pastry is literally sugar, butter, and bread flour. Some of these look nicer than other ones. <laughs> Okay. Don't put it in the <laughs> in the egg noodles. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put those in like a tea towel with a tea towel on top. Alright. See how nice it behaves. So are you gonna focus? I don't know if you could see like the layer. Let me 
hide this real quick and then I think you can kind of see the layers that are happening there. There's definitely a lot of layering and I'm, I'm hopeful. It's I'm hopeful. All right. And then butter and then flour and then sugar and more sugar and more. Su <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cover those and give it another 30-minute timer. With that going, three-minute timer. Um, I'm going to turn my convection bake on to 400 to let that go. Okay, we're all caught up again. Kanji, Vexens was so kind to give a sub for you. You got to get back in the screen. Get your butt on your bed because you get another treat. Oh my goodness, get in the bed. <gasps> what a good pooch. Oh my goodness, what a good pooch. You get a little treaty. There you go. Thank you again. Hello, Dylan. How are you? All right, those are resting. Those are resting. I think I heard Jeff finishing up with the shower, so I'm gonna. We're still here. I'm gonna add the egg noodles in here. <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna finish that out, at least this recipe out. And then I guess we'll be kind of like a <laughs> a mini mukbang. Is that it? Just sit here and eat as we wait for the. <laughs> Before I did this trip, I was like, okay, I have good. I need to figure out how to pronounce this thing correctly. And that's. Quinamon is much closer than I would ever get without looking it up. Okay. Our Roganoff is behaving itself real nice. Pooch, 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 pooch. Quinamon. Mukban. Oh, there you go. Mukbang. I'm terrible at pronouncing things sometimes. That's nice to hear, Dylan. All right. So we don't need that anymore. We turn the heat off of this because I don't want it. Do I want all of this? No, I'll put some <laughs> just a clump of scallions in a one spot. There we go. Ta-da! Mukbang. Not, not real good with the... Uh, Korean words. Jeffrey, hi. You missed <laughs> the nightmare that is Quinamon being folded. It's fine. We'll see. We have 30 minutes of it r waiting to, to rise, and then it's going in the oven for 30 minutes after that. So we got a little bit of time. Oh, the, uh, the yeah, I guess they're green onions, spring onions, uh, scallions. They have a lot of uh, names. I'd say if you say scallion, you're definitely going to, that would make more sense. I've had them referred to as green onion. Uh, I've heard, well, spring onion? Spring onion, yeah, is not, I think, as common as the other two. But the, but the, uh, the dinner part is done. Oh, uh, Vexens was nice enough to give Kanji a, a treat. Oh no, I closed the recipe. Renee also did. Kanji's living big here today. Big city living. Big city living. Yeah, I'm gonna. That is completely okay. Sweet 
Kumra. Is there a what now? No, you could use that. That I've never heard. Heck yeah. So I'll behave. I'll remember to. This I'll save for other stuff. Now I'm like. I might just like sit around while waiting, like cut some chicken for tomorrow and like kind of do some prep work for that to be like at least somewhat productive as I wait for. Oh, you can take a look. No, so it's nice because there is layers. Like it actually does have layers. I'm just waiting for it to do something. Sweet potato. Oh, kum kumura. Oh, being the Maori word. Okay, that that would make sense then. Why would also be called that? Ooh, I love these little facts. They're pretty cool. So um, I should. Vicky, you should grab a slightly larger plate and then take a picture and then put some back. <laughs> I guess the nice thing with the like 30 minute window of waiting, I get to make sure that the oven is at least at the correct temperature. I mean, that recipe is very easy. Thank you, Alton Brown, for having nice, easy recipes. I, this one was nice to make compared to I can switch the cameras. Nice to make compared to the nightmare that is the Quinomon right now. Oh my god, I hate <laughs> taking pictures with my phone. <laughs> Very good. It's super simple. And like I said earlier, you can replace it with probably any mushroom to your own liking. Heck yeah. My biggest suggestion with people always when they stop by the stream, I say, please come with a full stomach. <laughs> or at least with a, a snack in hand. Yes, it's mushroom. So it's a completely vegetarian version, which is nice. Because um, recently I've had a little more beef than I need. <laughs> What kind of tacos did you have? Jeff does have a good point. Why not both? Ooh, a stroganoff taco. You could do it with a mushroom. Actually, that would work pretty easily. Instead of the egg noodles, you put it in a tortilla. And you just have more of the vegetables then. Or beef. So I could leave that there. <laughs> Too much beef. Y yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. We had two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, I made tacos here. Hmm. Yeah, I've noticed <laughs> as I get older. <laughs> So much older. Um, just my body, like, beef is the one that just makes me go, Ehh. I feel so Ehh. afterwards. Which is bad. I live in I live in Texas now. Good old lab beef now, y'all. <laughs> I think that's why I like this one, because the... I'm going to say meatiness in, in quotes of the mushrooms, you avoid the stringiness. And it's super easy. Like, in the original recipe, it does have beef broth. So if you want at least that hit of, like, a beef flavor in there, you use that. I replaced it with um, vegetable broth because it's, in my head, again, I'm like, well, let me just avoid the beef completely. 
but I think that the meatiness of the, uh, of the mushrooms and stuff just hits that point without having to worry about, because I've, I've had some bad beef stroganoffs a few times where it's just, yeah, what you said, stringy beef, where it's like, <laughs> Heck yeah, yeah. still so excited about the uh finding out reading the buttons on my oven and seeing that it's a the proof made my life a little easier to make sure that the dough was done in time but i do think the thing that ties this whole dish together is definitely the the goat cheese and the sour cream helps too. Because if you just use like a heavy cream, it's going to be a bit blander. So. I find that the tanginess of the two really, really pops the dish a bit more. Which is, I, th I think, very important because I've had a lot of like cream pasta dishes that eventually, as you keep eating it, it becomes very one tone, and you're like, oh, this just tastes the same, and it's boring. Okay, wait a second. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Ugh. On chat. So, Vexens, did you make the steak? Or did you just pick up a steak somewhere? <laughs> Creamy? Out of onions? The one I've... I, the book is somewhere. I think it's in my room. Um... I have a recipe that I really like that's a, uh, it uses cashews to fill that role of the creaminess, which surprisingly works well. But I'd be curious about an onion. Yeah, it's, a uh, it's wild living in places where, uh, meat is, everything's kind of cheap. Texas, I'm very, very lucky with the prices of stuff here. Oh, and on. Um, so the bot will get angry. Hold on. One. Is there a way to... No. Let me set something up real quick. For a moment. That'll allow you. Um, okay, uh, Dylan, go ahead. You should be able to. Yeah, I've also. What is a Kriven? So, yeah, I was going to say. I see food lube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure what that translates to here state-wise, but Crivens. Okay. Oh. I don't know. What's Google say? cooking oil. <laughs> That's a great way to refer to <laughs> the cooking oil. Just some food lube. <laughs> Let's see. No, I get it. And I, I it's fun to like <laughs> get the other, the, the slang that exists. I, was, I wasn't going to Google food lube. <laughs> That one I know would be a, that's a, a dangerous thing. Crivans. Oh, an old Victorian. Oh. Oh. 
There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep closing the... Mm. Okay, so you put them... So if you're roast... I'm guessing roasting them at a high temp in the oven and then letting them go for a good long while with the skin on and then removing the skin and blending them. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Onion. Alright, I'm gonna switch the rules back with the bot. Keep seeing a button and I, I, I'm like, uh oh, I'm gonna accidentally hit the close stream button. <laughs> Please don't, Vicky, don't be a, a silly, a silly goose. Dun, 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 dun. Back to this computer. <laughs> oh, I mean, that makes sense. You have to lose the moisture. Yes, they do. Yeah. They say nice and thick. Aw, yes. Oh, I, I'm actually... I'm going to say this. I'm curious to, like... Try this out. Ooh. Because I've done it whoops, with whole cashews. Whole cashews and what else is in there? I know there's miso in there too. These are like the two items that I remember. Yeah, I'm no in no way a, a vegan either, but I like to explore and look at those other recipes just to kind of like figure it out. Ooh, cashews and a mac and cheese. Yeah, it's it definitely it helps me think differently. Like, I put a different like hat on and be like, okay, how am I going to figure this out? How is this going to work? How can I make this better? Uh, yes, I think they are puffing up a little bit, so that's good. <laughs> good, they're doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's my fear. I mean, that's why I wasn't like brave enough last week when we were doing the Guild Wars 2 stream. I didn't make a hollandaise sauce because I was like, that's when I will mess it up <laughs> on stream. Never have an issue with it until you do it live on camera. <laughs> That's why with this, I'm like, you know what? It's not my recipe. If I goof, I could pretend it's the recipe's fault, right? No. User error, usually. In studio music. Oh, it's a professional. <laughs> yeah, like, sous vide stuff definitely has its benefits. I have not made that leap into buying my own, like, like a system for myself. I've gone many times with, uh, to restaurants and I've had it and I'm like oh yeah and I had a friend actually bring some things that they had done um, and it's like oh it's always very good but I know for me it's difficult to be like um, it's very it's very very difficult for me to be like I'm gonna buy a sous vide and then work on these recipes and suggest them to people to do because with the food blog I want to make sure I do weird stuff <laughs> like there'll be some more specific things, but I feel like a sous vide for most gamers, <laughs> my, my target audience of gamers, uh, would be a, they'd be less likely to have it. Now, 
Guild Wars 2 added sous vide specific recipes to the game recently. So that would be an excuse to do that dive. You know what? My bot has not has been quiet the whole evening. I guess so. Um, yes. Yeah. You always have, like, I have a lot of friends who are very interested in that, like, oh, I have to have the latest gadget or I have to have the highest end thing to, to do whatever. And then... <laughs> this is true. The price of sous vide things are very cheap at this point. Um, here. Hold on. I'm gonna also put this in here. Is this, does that work? My bot! What the hell, bot? Uh, maybe that's not a command I made. Uh, yes. No, no more wasps? That's why the bot was mad. Hold on, give me one second. Oh my god, wait. Did it not get mad? Oh, it didn't get mad. Ah, police. And the bot didn't get angry about it. I'm surprised about that. Did the... I wonder if the bot died. Hello, bot? The wasp. The menu one. Okay, so I, I guess. Okay, I'm just crazy. <laughs> did I not make. Oh, I didn't. Well. Uh, let me. I'm gonna just copy it, please. I don't know why the auto things aren't working. But if y'all like talking about food and foodstuffs and you like sharing recipes with one another. Uh, And games and video games, I do have a Discord. Um, feel free to join. I always love sharing recipes and learning new recipes, and also taking like random suggestions of good recipes that would be interesting to cook on stream. Uh, so yeah, since the bot isn't doing its job and telling you all about it, bots being being lazy, gonna gonna be a cop, but not gonna help. <laughs> not gonna help with anything. Ooh, okay, that's exciting. I'm. I saw the one episode that was on on YouTube, so I'm excited to watch the next one. <gasps> Tetris sugar cookies, hell yeah! You gotta eat them all. Them is the rules. That's how that works. You can't avoid it. <laughs> Them's are the rules. Soon these will go into the oven. <laughs> no, vaccines, now you're gonna kill me. <laughs> I think I've watched some videos of the like there's the, the Japanese hornets. Those are gonna scary. I love it. Do, 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 do. I think one of the so here in in Texas, there's those crazy ants. Those things are wild. And then seeing them like fighting with like fire ants, they'll take them. They'll just rip fire ants apart. Hey, I am always up for derpy, derpy ideas. Actually, since I'm not kind of... Hold on one second. Oh, let me click the button. I... 
Dylan, I'm assuming you do you do like cooking streams and stuff. Since you seem knowledgeable of the cooking. Are you part of the bone in team? Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> if you're not, uh, below, there is a very welcoming group. Uh, I think that they have like a Discord, the Discord information in the in the team page, and they're always accepting uh, cooking streamers. Yeah, time zones can definitely be tricky. But I know we have a few people that are in, in like England and stuff. So there might also be some other Aussies. Dylan, thank you so much for that follow. Yeah, there's a bunch, a bunch of us, and I think the group is always accepting new people. For sure. I mean, more cooking streamers the better for like the the food and drink category in general. Exactly. We gotta stick with each other. <laughs> we gotta support each other. Oh my god. I've played Fortnite twice, maybe? Never on stream. Them battle royales, please no. <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> I can't do them. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that are very good at them. Not me. is true this is true i have noticed that a lot of the, like the cooking streaming crowd is definitely older in in the right in the older range not i don't know if i know any much 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 younger cooking streamers hey you Bake with your easy bake oven. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh my god. I will say streaming has helped me a lot with keeping the kitchen cleaner. Like, with, with the food blog. Uh... It definitely, I had, I don't have to show people the kitchen. I didn't have to show people the kitchen. I would just take my pictures and it would be great. Now with the, the kitchen being here, uh, and there I'm like, uh, I gotta, I gotta make sure it's clean. So it helps me keep the kitchen cleaner. Streaming helps me keep the kitchen cleaner. <laughs> I, I do like the, the gaming streams too, but I, I do find like a nice, I find the cooking streams a lot more relaxing and and more up my alley just because I'm like, oh, okay, I get to cook this. And I, this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly off the camera. No, the camera is not by the sink and it's never going to be by the sink because we're gonna ignore this thing. <laughs> Volsi! Oh my god, Kanji, you are having a day today. You better tell Volsi thank you. Thank you so much for that sub. We're making delicious food. We're feeding that pooch. You ready, Kanjo? Kanjo's looking at it like, no, I can't. What did I give you last time? I gave you that one. Time for a minnow. Kanji, today's been your like stream highlight. I like giving Kanji these little minnows because I always imagine he's a he's a little baby seal. I go, here you go, Kanji. Eat it like a baby seal. <laughs> Kanji is having a day. How are you, Volsi? Good. 
good doggo. Doggo's having a good, good day. <laughs> Stay back at work. I get it. I mean, ugh. So, yeah, it was, it was, I had a long weekend of a lot of things. But I did, we did work yesterday, so. <laughs> Why do we have to work? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Home stretch. I think they puffed up. We're gonna pretend like they did. Here, I will put them. I think they're puffed up a little bit. The camera shakes around. We're gonna assume they are. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Quinamone. Recipe preheat. 30 to 40 minutes or until golden brown. Cover the f with foil halfway if it is starting to brown too much. So, we're gonna let these go in. We're going to put the 30 minute. We're just looking for them to brown. Sugar butter fire time. Yeah, like the note, the biggest note out of this is be careful not to burn yourself on the caramelized sugar. But don't leave them to cool for too long or the caramelized sugar will harden and they will be stuck in the pan. <laughs> or oh, excuse me, stuck in the tin. <laughs> I almost... I was Americanized that a little too much. Ready, set, break. Ooh, Volsi, congrats on that. And it's always nice to have a friend. Well, typically I think it's nice to have a friend at work. That camera's boring now. So I guess what I'll do... I put, yeah, I put the timer on. <laughs> I've made that mistake numerous times on stream where I'm like, okay, good to go start chit-chatting. Um, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. You have, you have that extra person kind of like, yeah, so I've got someone in your corner. <laughs> There is always the other end where you could have. You spend too much time with that friend and you're like, oh no. I definitely do think that's one of the big things with like living with a friend. That is a completely different experience. <laughs> or it's just like, oh no. Oh no. We were good when we saw each other, but this is not working. <laughs> Oh no. I think in my times of living with people, I had one. Oh no. <laughs> yep, live with your enemies. That's why I live with Jeff and Kanji. My enemies. <laughs> Um, yeah, Jeff and I are, like, not even two hours into the main story of Judgment, I should say. Yeah, I mean, living with someone is very different than hanging out with them all the time. Everyone has their quirks. Mm. Something I am thinking about doing with, uh, I think, Judgment. At Smile Burger, they have, like, this pork burger. I think I'm going to make that, not this weekend, maybe next weekend. Because it looks like it's a pork belly burger. And then it has, like, the Azutsuki tamagos, the, like, soy, um marinated eggs like sliced on it and I'm like that looks very good 
That recipe shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to have to go rip. I have to take like a two, three minute break. Um, so while we wait for that to bake, I will be right back. Hopefully I have that button there. Does it have kanji in it? Just, I think it has a paused kanji picture. But yeah, I'll be right back. Um, shouldn't be too long. I'm back. Astral Chain, very anime. I don't think I really looked much into that game. Just no. It's definitely one. I know th there's cops. <laughs> That's about the extent of my knowledge. I can talk about judgment I'm playing. And it's weird kind of playing a Yakuza style, like a game from the Yakuza team and working with the cops. And we're not too far into that one, so. No spoilers! Judgment was one of those that, like, we picked it up, like, right when it came out, and then it kind of just sat there. <laughs> because we got distracted with so many other things. Well, we got distracted with. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, that smells crispy already. 
Oh my god. I have not done any Bayonetta themed recipes. Uh, I haven't played Bayonetta. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Uh, is there, are there, is there food in the game? <gasps> oh no, I'm sorry, Volsi. The sub was for Kanji, not for me. There you go. Now I, I, here's, the Vicky Truth. I don't know if I've played a platinum game. Jeff can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've played a platinum game. This is where I make people angry. <laughs> Bad gamer. This is true. See, I end up spending like most of my time on others, on other series to live. I mean, most of my time I spent on like the Persona series or spent, um, oh, there are drinks. Drinks I could work with. Lollipops sound like a nightmare. But that's, dro that's dropping next month, Casey. Probably won't even be done with Shadowbringers by next month. Without caviar. I've seen people, like, I've seen people play Bayonetta. I'm actually surprised Jeff has not played Bayonetta. It seems like a game he would play. Like, I would probably, like... I feel like that's a game I would watch him play. I mean, that's something we've kind of learned, like, Jeff and I. We enjoy playing, like, with PC games. It's real nice and easy because we could play games together. And it works out perfectly. Uh, with console games, we've slowly become the couple that will sit and play a game together. So, like, Judgment, we sit together and we play that for a while and then we'll pass the controller because it's like the only game that we've done funky stuff with is uh, Persona 5. We bought the PS3 version and the PS4 version and we played in separate rooms <laughs> and we played it. I mean that's every Yakuza game. There's so many side quests. Actually we behaved ourselves with six. We were like we're just, we're just playing the main story. Doing the main story. Um, but yeah, with uh, Judgment, I've seen like all of the like the friendships you could make and the weird things. <laughs> Se Sega's like wild, but th I'd say the see this is where my little fandoms come in. I really like the Yakuza series, and I am very appreciative that Sega's been pushing them more to the west uh judgment's been very i can't it's too early in the game to say how i feel about that game over the yakuza series um but did people see the yakuza 7 announcement let's talk about that <laughs> see that's the content i could talk about <laughs> make sure the food is there in the scene we're, we're waiting for it to cook the turn base is like okay i'm sorry i'm excited for turn base yakuza <laughs> i am super excited for turn base yakuza so jeff and i've been playing and i'm curious if we should switch that um we have been playing it in japanese just because it that's what we're used to um but it seems like they did a good job with the the voice the voice crew so for me with the yakuza series i'd say most of my enjoyment comes from the ridiculous anime that it basically is and just the story is beautiful <laughs> i love it I, it's wonderful um and the combat's always been like that second part 
And it's like, okay, it's just a stone thing. But I'm ready for it to, to try a whole new, different thing from them. I'm excited for the new main character. Um, it's looking, that's looking, I think it's looking promising. 15 more minutes. Actually, I behave myself. While I'm waiting, I will prep chicken for tom- I'll cut some chicken for tomorrow. What else can I cut up? I think that's all I could do for that recipe. Clean pooch. And he's just done with the day. He's like, this is it. We're good. We did everything we need to. Like, what do I have in here? Chicken. Or not, because... No, it's fine. I was like, did my chicken freeze in here? <laughs> this is the fridge. I'll just like cut this up. When is when is Tokyo Game Show? Because I know for me that's typically more of a place that I expect announcements that I I would want to hear. I know there's a is there a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Is that right? Tomorrow? Two days from now? All I want forever is for them to finally give more information about Shimagami Tensei whatever number we're at. Five? Six? I'm never gonna get any more information. Five, right? <laughs> hey, what number is... No, six? Six. Never gonna give us any of that information. The kanji kanji sleepy music. So this chicken tomorrow is for egg like chicken and lemongrass soup. With coconut and mushrooms. But that won't be. That will not be on stream. Very sleepy pooch. I think tomorrow is, uh, we're gonna do Final Fantasy 14. We'll probably be doing... I'm undecided. Because we just finished Stormblood. And we have, like, all of a sudden our, like, quest log is filled with a bunch of, like, do all these dungeons. <laughs> Go do everything. Chicken. Yeah, for some reason, some of this, like, froze in the fridge this fridge sometimes I use it to my benefit it lets me cut them thinner <laughs> thinner slices And I, th I think we're doing Minecraft on Thursday. I haven't confirmed with the... So I usually stream with... Uh, some and the Badger to be. Do that together, I think. Jeff, we still have another, like, week of realms, right? That shouldn't... Okay. So at least our, s our free server is up for then. Oh. 
chicken. And I'm so ready to take these out and then be like, oops, they got stuck to the tin. <laughs> As the recipe calls my muffin tin. The tin. Sure, we're not browning too quick. Uh, getting a little crispier than I expected. Might have to put the aluminum foil on top of it. Uh, see, that's the part that's confusing. It says bake the pastries for 30 to 40 minutes or until golden brown. Then it says to cover with foil. Halfway through, if, it be if beginning to brown too much. What does that mean? That's not like, that's a bad description. <laughs> What's it mean? So I'll transfer this. The thing I'd be worried about is the pulling it out too early and then it not um, being set in the center, but like the outside cooked. I'm almost pretty confident that I did not put enough sugar on the top, but that's fine. Oops. Um, lemon punch. There's no longer anything on the stove right now, so don't let that cool, and that goes into the fridge. This recipe, the the mushroom sugar off, it has a pretty good shelf life in the fridge. Um, it does sit there probably for a week. So I've, I have like a few recipes that I'll make where it's like, ah, oh, like three days later, it's just like, ugh, it's not as good. But this one holds up well. Which is good. Uh, one thing I want to check with this recipe real quick. Oh, those look less chaotic than mine. <laughs> We're going for chaotic. Butter block. Oh, I like what that recipe's doing. I only get other recipes for like the timings that they have, but I do like the um, the idea of putting sugar in the butter block. Deeply caramelized. Okay, so now I know what I'm looking for. Just wanted to see what other recipes were saying that like the cook time and the look would be. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Give it six more minutes. Hopefully. Thank you so much for the host. Someone, like, real quickly, I see someone posted a picture of a deep-fried gusher. I hear myself. Oh, my goodness gracious. What? What else must everyone... <laughs> deep-fry right now. <laughs> I've had some funky deep-fried things here in Texas. I'm trying to figure out, why would you do that to a gusher? <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Had deep fried s'mores. That was pretty good. I've been meaning to, uh, like, uh, there's a f state fair in Dallas, and I've, I've not been, but I've heard several friends talk about it where it's just like, yeah, you spend a day and you get deep fried everything. <laughs> Like, there's just a bunch of random deep-fried things, and you're like, oh, okay. So, I actually, my stroganoff had just mushrooms in it today. Yep, deep-fried butter, I've seen it. I've never had it. So, yeah, the... the Stroganoff was a mushroom stroganoff, and all it had was uh, portobello mushrooms. And I kept the vegetarian. And I think the since the mushrooms are meaty enough, it doesn't need meat, which is delicious. Delicious. I always wondered, with like deep fried butter, is it still a stick of butter? Or is it just liquidy at that point? I think that was the most dangerous thing with the, the deep fried s'more. Because it was like mostly chocolatey. <laughs> hot, hot chocolate. <laughs> I can't remember what some of the weirder things were that our friend mentioned seeing. Yeah, it's it's very nice. It's a good recipe. Actually, I could show since I pulled it off already, since that was already done. Um I, I put it in a bowl at this point, so it's kind of cold too. As you can see, there are a bunch of mushrooms there, and we have our scallions and stuff there. Okay, so both, it, it looks like both ways. Actually, I'm probably going to be pulling this out soon. Actually, I'm going to be pulling it out now, because it looks like some of it's starting to brown more than I want, I think. Curious if I'd be able to check. Yeah, 
think those temperatures are fine too. Ta da! They're not as like fancy looking as you would get at a store. Like, yeah, you can see. I wonder how you avoid this. Alright, so from an aesthetic standpoint, they aren't the prettiest. <laughs> if it's deep fried butter, I imagine they're probably going to use salted butter. I would imagine. Right? Because you got to get that salt somewhere. Alright, so I think it says... The big thing I want to be careful with is that they're, they're extremely hot. Um, we have to cool for a couple minutes. So we'll let them sit for a second because I'd like to pull one out. They're close. I'd get knocked th knocked out because of the the visual look here. I don't think I need to leave them in there for too long. Because my biggest fear is them solidifying. Actually, they, they're slipping out real well. So that's good. That's good. It's prom all promising. Say right now, I think. Think I understand the mistakes I made, and I would change a few things from the base recipe. The method of how the sugar is introduced into this, because I think it didn't warn me. Like, I, if I was a good person, I would have read ahead of the recipe. But if someone's gonna be doing this recipe, they're gonna be reading it at that at that time. A 15th century recipe. Hey, you can, oh, interesting. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. You, so you, you, you can see that they're like, so this, because it was like an, jeez. <laughs> Look at it, what the, like, the white balance is doing, and it's doing funk to that camera. Um, should have turned it off. Uh, like this edge here, like it's from being rounded out. Maybe that's why they never, interesting. But like this, let me find one. I'm trying to find the right one. This one looks like it kind of has like all the all corners of it kind of have that nice. <laughs> What's mushing your face? Let's see. Uh, main and time. Okay, so I'm curious about this. So I'm going to take a little plate and cut. Like, where'd my knife go? Where's my knife? I'm going to cut one in half because I'm curious. Yeah, there's definitely not enough sugar at the top of these. But they're cooked through. Actually, the other camera plays a little nicer. I always gotta remember that. So there are definitely like layers here, and I get, you can kind of see them throughout. 
Which is good, so... The, the turning worked and all that. <laughs> there definitely isn't enough sugar, but... Jeff, you're the expert on these. Because you're the one who's had it more often than I have. Yeah. So my comment right away is there's, I think, not enough sugar. Like, not enough sugar from what I usually expect from these. Or is there kind of then more croissant -y than than Quinamong. So I almost am like, oh man, I kind of want to try these out again. Here, you could have half of one. Try that. Hmm, I can see them being pretty close to your Yorkshire pudding. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I don't think they're sweet as sweet as they're supposed to be. I think the top needed a lot more sugar to car like it's missing the caramelization. I don't agree. I don't agree. The top is fine. I think when I get them elsewhere, it has that like layer of caramel on the bottom. Ah, uh, and that, that I didn't. It didn't tell me to put sugar at the bottom. I mean, it just well made it one way to make. No, and I, I think that's a good point. But I think that that was the sweetness. Everything else tastes the same. Okay. So lessons learned. Right? Or did I skip that step? <laughs> Make sure I didn't goop. Grease a 12 cup muffin tin with oil. No. Doesn't mention it. So I think that would probably help it. They're good. They're just not exact. To what the recipe should be, but they're pretty dang close. I think for a first attempt, that's uh, that's pretty good. Too complicated to make. They're pretty difficult to make. It took how long has the stream been going? So the stream's been going for three hours, and then I had to make the dough an hour before. So it was about a four-hour endeavor to make these. Oh my gosh, you're right, Jeff. We don't need that. That's an empty tin. <laughs> no one needs to be seeing an empty tin. Oh, that's not the kanji cam. <laughs> I'm hitting everything but the buttons I want. I think, yeah, that's uh Go ahead and knock yourself out. I think that's a success. Oh. But now with all that work, <laughs> I'm ready to lay down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me, before I wrap up, I'm going to look real quick at who is streaming. <laughs> Actually, since Chef the Party stopped by earlier, I see that he's streaming. He's doing a, a cook stream right now. Cooking stream? Let's see. So y'all can keep the cooking love alive. Seems to be making a stone fruit salad, pork chops with mushroom caper sauce, and a key lime pie. Ooh, getting real fancy. Yeah, I'm gonna... Watch the British streamer. <laughs> okay, so I think I think I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna send you all over to Chef the Party. Um, give him lots of love and and hellos. Uh, gotta ban them, ban the the cooking streamers together. Um, yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for the new follows, the new subs, the host, all that wonderful love that I got today. Um, Kanji appreciates it. Tomorrow I should be online, but we're going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah. 
So wrap up with that. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening.